Hello everyone, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome to a new Minor Monday report today uh, for Kaiserreich. Today we're going to be looking at Minor Monday number 21, which is chronologically what's going to be after that last progress report video that I put up. Again, let me know in the comments if you want me to create some sort of master playlist where it includes both the progress reports and Minor Monday, so it's easier for you to go through them uh, in a chronological order as we head toward the China update. So this Minor Monday report is going to be covering the uh, situation in 1927 during the interbellum following the northern expedition. Now this was the situation in China prior to the northern expedition. Then you have the truce that is called uh, following uh, the KMT and the Qing returning to power and getting uh, Beijing and uh, Tianjian. So uh, Wei Puifei, uh, Piufu, and uh, Sun Chuangtang Chuan Feng, my bad, his, uh, his apprentice, so to speak, um, are really overstretched because they've been dealing with the Feng Tian to the north as well as the remnants of the KMT to the south. Now the Wu, uh, in blue here, yeah, Wu Pui Fei, the uh, Pui Fu, I keep saying Fei, it's Pui Fu, the, um, is the official head of the national government at this time. But Germany then asks for additional concessions from him, which he rejects. Germany then begins to work with Sun uh, Chuanfang of the uh, Zihili clique, in yellow here, uh, and Wu Puifei, Pui I keep saying it, is Pui Fu is helpless to uh, do anything about it realistically. Uh, so Germany is beginning to encroach more into uh, to these two uh nations for lack of a better term clicks we'll call them clicks the Qing click and the and the Zili click because uh, they're effectively separate even though they kind of work together um, now at the same time uh, Japan is nervous because the Feng Tian government which they're behind they support uh, its borders have been pushed back and they are seeing threats to Manchuria which are in turn which in turn means that there is a threat to Korea which in turn means that there is a threat to the home islands so they want to uh, prop up the Feng Tian clique in some sort of way. Uh, because Feng Tian is bottled in Manchuria, they have a uh, really stressed out economy right now, and they don't have any real allies south of the Great Wall. So uh, Japan and uh, Zheng Zulian agree that they need an alternate approach, and just attacking south is not going to uh, be enough. Uh, so now, they don't have the KMT or the Anhui clique to uh, ally with anymore because they've both been defeated uh, previously. Um, and Sun Chuanfang is beginning to grow more entre uh, entrenched. And so they're trying to find a way to create some sort of division to the south. As they're especially fearful of Sun and the, uh, the Zili clique as it gets more powerful and assumes control over China proper. Look how many of the major big five cities that we talked about before that they uh, that they have um, power over. Uh, by the way, has anybody ever noticed that this section looks like a wolf? Do you guys see it? Like here's the ear, here's the eyes, there's the snout. Do you guys see it? Anyway, uh, so a war of espionage begins uh, where Officials are being bribed, they're being assassinated uh, all throughout northern and central China. A lot of plots, a lot of intrigues, but ultimately this doesn't really come to much. Because even though some of the warlords are sympathetic to Feng Tian's cause, um, only Teng Jiao in Yunnan is, in, is open to direct action. And Yunnan's not here in the map, they're in the southwest of China. You guys know where Yunnan is, I don't have to explain it to you. Um, so, meanwhile... You've got Yan uh, Zhishan, this guy, you probably recognize his face. Now, he is the governor of Zhangji, and uh, Zhangji is in green here. So he is worried because he doesn't like Wu Puifei. Wu Fu, god damn it, say it right, <laughs> me. Uh, he never thought that the Jade Marshal was going to get Beijing. And uh, he's really worried about the Zili clique's dominance. Uh, and then he, he's tried to keep Zhangji neutral for almost 10 years at this point. He's afraid that that's not going to be possible anymore. Now, Zhishan has access to what's left of Feng Jiang's uh, Guomenjun, which is the national army, 
what's left of it anyway. And his initial plan had been to use them in a defensive capacity and later on attack them wherever he could fight his enemies. But now they're a liability because Wu Piefu hates Feng Yuzhan because uh, his, his betrayal earlier at Beijing is why Piefu had been almost defeated previously. So, Yan here turns to uh, Zheng Zhu, uh, Zhu Lan, who I don't think I have his picture up right now. Sorry about that. So he, anyway, he turns to the Feng Tian government and he says, I'm going to work with you. Uh, and this is really crucial because... The, uh, the, they are in a position that they can quickly attack into Pui Fu's heartland, uh, including the personal headquarters at uh, Luoyang. Um, and then from there, they can easily get to Zhengzhou, which is one of the ne nexuses of the China railway system in the West. And so, you've also got uh, Zheng Zongchang, who, that's the dog meat general. He's able to block the railway lines in the East, so they can cut these rail lines really strategically. Bie Fu would be isolated. Feng Tian can attack through the Shanghai, uh, the Shanghai Pass, and uh, defeat the Jade Marshal. So the Japanese reach out to uh, to Yan. He says, "Yes, let's do it." And so this was the plan. However, Zheng Zongchang, the Dogmeat General. Now has a problem. Let, let me show you his picture so you could. You guys gotta start putting names to faces. All right. So this is Zhang Zhang Zongchang. He is uh, stuck in the east, and the only way that he's able to receive uh, food and supplies, ammunition, things like that, is through Tsingtao, which is held held by the Germans. Yes, he can get food from the peasants, and there's the arsenal at Jinan but it's not enough to supply all of his troops, so it's, it's not really a good logistical network. So the Germans, who are obviously, at, you know, the Germans and the Japanese, they're at odds with one another, so they start to notice that there's a lot of supplies that are going through Tsingtao. And they say, Zeng, they, they, they tell Zhang, Zhang Zongjiang, we'll call him just, I'm just gonna call him the dog meat general, uh, so you're not getting him confused with the uh, Zeng Zulin. They say, if you get involved in the fighting, we're going to cut off your supplies. So Dogmeat here has no choice but to uh, promise to be neutral. But still, overall, if we're looking at the plan again, the idea here is to repeat the Wu Pei Fui defeat from 1924, which is three years prior to where we are right now in the timeline. Um, and by dividing the north and south, especially right here, They'd be able to sweep down, win some victories, defeat Wu, call for a negotiated unification, which Feng Tian would have, you know, easily be able to do, and they'd be in charge. That's the plan, but as we'll see in the next one, things are not going to go according to plan. Uh, so I'm also going to start doing it's a new thing. Uh, as many of you know, I do not like Reddit. I do not like its system. Um... Uh, the upvote thing just does not do it for me. But so here's what we're gonna do. Having gone over all that, let's. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a new segment where I look at what's the top comment on these uh, these progress reports. And just I won't I won't say anything good or bad about them. We'll just see what is the top comment following all of this information. Top comment is from the Bacon is Pow Chairman of the Britons, who says, "TMW, you want to play the pew pew map coloring game?" but you start reading weekly alternate history works so that you can understand the lore. And with that, I am Conquering History Games. I hope that uh, this Minor Monday report was helpful to you all. You all have yourselves a wonderful day. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you're always notified whenever a new video like this goes up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.